Welcome to Soltron. This is the all-in-one review of God King Oger and the King Caucasus Kabuto. Here he is with Don Onitaijin and Voyager Starscream. So you can see Don Onitaijin is about the same size as he is. All right, and then here's our box. So nothing too special there. It's very pretty but it doesn't have like really cool artwork and it's they got the Amazon barcode just slapped on it. And then you can see all the little gems for the different insects. And then on this side, you get a close up of the robot and then all the different modes it has. So it's got its tank mode, castle mode, and then finally it's combined mode. All right, and then let's get him on the turntable. So here's his 360 view. And um, yeah, he's got he's got some issues. Actually, I think he seems like he's going a little fast. Okay. Um, yeah, and most of the reviews I've watched, I haven't really seen a side view of this guy. But just look at this side view. That's that's kind of terrible. The front view looks pretty good, actually. I'm not I'm not too upset by this. This actually is kind of cool. I like all the gold bits. I definitely, I think he would have looked cooler if I got the scorpion, but man, look at that side view. It's, it's like one of the ugliest robots. It's definitely old school Sentai robots, which I really don't appreciate. Like the spider just doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, but yeah, from the front, he looks cool, but overall, like the score for this combined mode, he's definitely, um, this is definitely a five. This is kind of, this is like too much to even customize back into like a cool shape. Okay, and let's go with like problem number one. His head is just really buried in here. And this is actually a faux head. His real head is actually just hanging out on his back. You can see the horns back here. So this is just a fake head, which has the same face as his regular head, which is kind of pointless. But, um, it's it's kind of cool looking. You can see he's got like a three-horned helmet, maybe really a four-horned helmet, depending on how you want to count it. But like the real problem here is just his his head is like here, and then his chest is way out here. So there's a huge amount of space between his chest and where his head is. It's just and when you look at this, can you really tell what you're looking at? This looks like a pile of 20 insects just all crawling on top of each other. This looks like nothing. I mean, man, this is just not cohesive at all. Um, definitely gets better when you look at it from the front, but every other angle of this guy looks just kind of terrible. And you can see this his head buried in there. It's just covered in shadow because it's so deep in there not super into that as far as like posability in this form too that's going to be a real issue like you can't really move his arm um that's not really because of the caucasus it's really just because the the spider on his back the legs just get in the way so you can't even lift his arm really um the scorpion arm would probably be fine like this there's enough clearance so you can move um one of his arms and his head does not articulate. This is all stationary. If you try to rotate it, you're going to hide his face. There is like a, a head reveal gimmick. So you like rotate this helmet. Um, I probably can't even do it because all these horns just like to fall off. This one especially is this, is, this is one of the worst connections I've ever had in a Power Rangers toy. Like you can clip that on, but this... It just falls right off. It's, there's like nothing holding that on. And then um, this whole thing like rotates around. And then, yeah, if you rotate it to the front, now you have your head reveal. And then you put this horn back on. I guess you can't do it with the horns on. And then you got to put that other horn on. I just knocked off. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. I like what it was going for. I like the gold bits, but because the gold is all different, like this gold is different than this gold is different than the chrome gold. It just does not work. And this gold, 
even the canon gold here looks a little bit different than this gold. I might be wrong. It might be the same paint. It's kind of similar. But uh, yeah, this thing just doesn't work for me. I'm really disappointed, actually. I was kind of looking forward to this guy. But um, yeah, articulation. Um, technically, he does have the original hips are still in here. Um, but then you have to put on this skirt. So this skirt is going to block his hips from moving forward. So he can he has no hip articulation. You can, actually I take that back, you can spread the legs so you can get him in a more severe A stance, which I like. But then um, his ankle rockers only have one click. I can't even move this cannon out of the way. He literally, there's no way to move this cannon. Actually, maybe you can point this forward. I'll take that back. So maybe if you bend at the elbow, he can... Point this cannon forward. Okay, that kind of gets that out of the way a little bit. Um, yeah, so he's got this ankle rocker, which is nice. But the ankle rocker is actually a fake ankle rocker. It's really only his front toe that's moving. It's only this, this tread right here. This back part does not move at all. So really, it's not a true ankle rock. It just does this. Just this toe. That's it. You get one click. You can do neutral, or you can do one click for pretty much a very limited kind of self-conscious looking A stance. Like he doesn't spread his legs very much for his A stance, which I guess is okay, but I like I like a little bit more dramatic A stance, something like here maybe. And then the click doesn't really work out. So his feet are not quite flush right now, so that that's makes him even less stable. Why should I take that back? His stability is like okay because he's got these giant feet. It doesn't hurt too much. But um, yeah, I think he just looks cool in some ways. But when you rotate him around, it just defeats the whole effect. Like this actually doesn't look too bad. But um, yeah, you can't really bend his knees. Um, there's just too much going on. Not that you would want to because if you bent his knees, he just wouldn't be able to stand anyway. So um let's just call it what it is he doesn't really have leg articulation he could spread his legs and that's it and then he can he could do like a super super neutral pose you can actually just flatten out these platforms so his feet can just be flat um i don't know why well, actually you can't even really do that because these treads get in the way but um yeah you can get them standing kind of like stock still sort of but then these treads on the side are going to come off because they're not they're not meant to do that. So really his legs have almost no posability. You can have it this, or you can have it more spread out like I had it earlier, and that's it. You cannot actually put him in a default pose where these are flat. So no articulation happening on this guy, less than usual. You can't even really move his arms. You can move this arm, you can move this elbow with this cannon. Um, if we look at him, from the three quarters. Does that look cool? Um, I don't know. I guess he sort of looks like a walking castle. That's kind of cool in a way. But um, yeah, not not good. And then let's look at, let's start, let's actually get some of this junk off him and maybe that'll help out. So let's go ahead and take off all this garbage back here so we can get his whole sword and his actual head in here instead of his fake head let's go ahead and take off the dragonfly because let's face it these little wings aren't going to be doing anything and that kind of cleans them up a little bit let's go ahead and take the chainsaw off of the leg of the spider let's go ahead and take the uh what is this i totally spaced on what these are called um cicada let's go ahead and take that off of his back so that kind of that cleans him up a little tiny bit. Um, still, actually, that helps a little bit. The spider's really let's just face facts. Um, the spider's not doing anything. Oh, actually, he does have. Does he have waist articulation? Oh, well, that's very surprising. So he can actually click one click on his waist articulation. To get rid of the spider, we have to take off the combined mode head, which is. Oh, and the chest wants to come off too because it's only held on by one clip, which is, come on, this one clip is holding in this whole section. Are you kidding me? 
That's ridiculous. But we actually don't have to take his chest section off. So this just clips into where his original head clips in. And we're going to go ahead and take the spider off because it's not helping things at all. All right, and then we go ahead and put his combined head back on. And now let's take a look at what we got. Okay, I knocked off that front horn. This is like the whole experience of playing with this guy is just you're going to be bashing into everything. And then how does he look now? That's better, right? I actually, hmm, I actually kind of like this. Yeah, let's... Got much better back. You can actually kind of tell what's going on a little bit. There's still a lot of insect legs. Nice clean back now. Yeah, I actually kind of like this mode. This is just way better. Um, if you're going to get this set, I would just recommend um, just have this guy separate. Just... Like, he's not adding anything to the whole equation. Um, this doesn't add anything. These don't really add anything. Just just have them make their own, like, little combination. Okay, there we go. There's all the leftover parts on the spider. And then we got, okay, this actually looks, yeah, way more acceptable. Especially if I had the scorpion, I think this would actually not be too bad a mode because it's mostly just black and gold. Everything kind of fits together. Even these guys kind of contribute a little bit to this color scheme. So I think that works a lot better. Don't you agree? Like this is just a much, much better mode. Working in the spider just doesn't work at all. And this would actually be more fun to play with. You could actually move the arm around without crashing into the spider mode. Um, you're still not getting anything out of these legs. Like this leg one click is not going to do you much good. I guess if I can move the cape out of the way. There you go. You can move that. And then you still can't go forward because you're going to knock off this crotch piece. So, which I already did. So yeah, you're still not going to get much articulation. I guess you can get hip swivel, maybe not. I don't know. There's too much buried in there to even tell. Um, yeah, I don't know. This looks much better, right? I kind of like this mode. This makes me feel better. But let's go ahead and continue disassembling him. So let's go ahead and get the cannon off because that's taken up a lot of space. And now you can see he just kind of doesn't work if you don't have the scorpion and this other... I forget what this one is. If you don't have those two gold insects... He just doesn't work right. His arms are just way too puny. They should have, I would have really liked if they used the, this guy's arms, if these would have clipped on and beefed up his arms some more in some kind of way. And then you clip these on maybe to make his arms more proportional. Like, just look at that. That would have been so much cooler if these would like fit on some way. Yeah, if these would just cover his scrawny little arms and give him more proportionality, right? Doesn't that look good? Look at this one too. There we go. You just grab these two, these clip onto the rail system, bam. And now you got a pretty good looking robot that's actually not, that's actually kind of proportional. Oh man, this is making me kind of want to customize, which is not great. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue disassembling him. You saw earlier, we just ripped his head off. Um, it's held on by one clip here, and then we can just rotate this around to hide his head. And then we take off this little gold um, larva head. I don't know what that is. And then um, this whole chest piece is going to come off. Again, that's only held on by the one clip, which is oddly fighting me just now. So we get this huge chunk. And uh, I just want to note the cool thing about this castle is it looks like the bricks are actually falling apart. So that's really, I really like that detail because all these robots look a little bit beat up. And then you can see we've got a lot of the the base level robot and his skirt would just fit where the spider originally was. So you just put on the skirt in the same place. Um, I guess you can see that better if we take off the gold hopper here. And then we take off the spider and you can see the skirt just fits basically right here. So that's also going to pop off and then you combine that with this um, whatever this insect is and you get this kind of really gross looking larva and then um 
me go ahead and pop off the hopper bits. And then you can see that his original King Oger legs are actually combined in here at the knee, which I think was kind of a clever move. I actually do, I do appreciate that. So you're gonna go ahead and pull out King Oger's legs. So that gives him some extra height by giving him these new knees in addition to these platforms. And then finally, his actual legs. Um, this is kind of a clever bit of transformation I actually like, and it's nice and stable. You open this up, and that one clip clips there, and that's not the only thing holding him in. He's also got this combination joint that holds in the leg right there. So that's why you get like a new legs, a new knee section for King Oger. Okay, so now we have all these various bits. So let's go ahead and turn this into a robot or a tank. I don't know what's going to happen next. So let's just go ahead. These are obviously going to become the legs. So you just straighten these out. And then you do kind of an interesting thing here where you rotate this connection joint and then you're going to rotate that around. So you get like the front of the chest is going to look like this. So you could already see this is already half of a robot. Okay, and then you take the other half and you're just gonna sandwich those together and you get this. And then actually I'm wrong, you gotta have the gold bits facing forward. So this is gonna make his shoulders. And this all feels pretty satisfying. I do like the chunkiness of this guy. I wish he did have some more articulation. And then somebody can explain to me what, like he's got a thigh cut here, but it doesn't swivel. What it actually does is it, it comes off completely and it makes one of these combination joints. Why can he? do this it, it's never used so that's really weird to me but anyway let's go ahead and continue we're going to take um this whole backpack piece we're just going to fold that up into his wing into his wing pack and then we're just going to fold this little extra bit here and that's just going to clip right on top nice and clean very satisfying and then we get his robot head here and we're just going to clip that up here we're going to take off these extra horns and these are actually just going to clip onto his shoulders here. And then finally, we just take obviously his arms, make sure the fists are facing forward. So we get fist holes, and we're just going to peg these onto his biceps. And there you go. And then you got pretty much an old fashioned Sentai kind of robot. And you're gonna open this guy up to make him into an ax. And of course this connection is terrible, so be careful with that. And then we go ahead and raise the arm, plug in his little ax, which is not a terrible accessory. And then we open up for the head reveal. And there's his, what is this guy called? Caucasus Kabuto, um, which not a bad looking robot, honestly. Um, he does have problems with articulation, but let me bring in the other guys so we can compare them all. Right here he is with the other two robots. And um, altogether, this set was pretty expensive. I think maybe this this combination cost like a hundred bucks with the hopper. Um, this guy ended up being like a hundred dollars after shipping. This one was like a hundred twenty after shipping. So really this whole set sent me back like three hundred dollars. He's pretty pricey. Um, you get a lot. So I, I can't complain too much, but $122 after shipping for this guy on Amazon, that's quite a bit. And um, yeah, the shipping again was like half the cost. But yeah, um, pretty good looking set. They all look very different. They don't look like they really belong together. I think these two actually look the best together. They kind of have the same kind of style, but King Oger, he's just kind of a mess. Let's go ahead and get him on the turntable. I think this robot is actually better than the combined mode a little bit. He's nice and clean. I love this gold plate, which doesn't really even show up in the combined mode. It's kind of underused. Um, he does have like his little wing pack in the back, which is kind of cool. Yeah, he's just blocky. He's very old school Sentai, especially with his articulation. But um, yeah, I really appreciate the aesthetics of this guy. This guy's probably like a seven or an eight for me. He just, he looks good. I really love these little castle bits. He looks like a walking castle. That's so awesome. And then if we get a close-up of the head, we of course get a really cool night theme. You got a visor. Um, the other two robots were like a ninja and then a, um, I don't know, grumpy baby for the faces. 
But yeah, this is pretty cool head sculpt for articulation. Uh, he does actually have a rotating head, which, um, I mean, technically reveals your grumpy baby head. So I guess this is an alternate head you can have. But yeah, he can he can rotate 45 degrees. And then he's got like a good outward motion. This starts crashing into his giant helmet spike. And then you get a good 360 on that. Uh, you do not, you get, oh, actually I'm wrong. You do get bicep swivel, so that's pretty nice. You don't get any elbow bend, unfortunately, which is a missed opportunity. It would have been nice to have that joint. Would have really helped his posing because he does have biceps. And then you even get wrist swivel, which is nice. So if he had a bicep or an elbow, because um, he does have a bicep, if he has an elbow, that actually wouldn't be too bad. Um, as I mentioned earlier, he's got this cut, but no thigh swivel. He does not have pivoting toes. They pivot, um, they pivot out like this. I don't know if that's helpful. I guess a little bit. That makes him look a little bit more dynamic. You can point his toes out. Um, he has knees that bend the wrong way for transformation. So you're not going to get any knee joints out of this guy either. Uh, so yeah, very limited articulation, very old school, but at least he's got good arms. If he had elbows, uh, it might actually be okay to ignore like how much leg articulation he's missing. And of course he's got like full outward kick. So yeah, pretty good robot. I'm not, I'm not angry about this one. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of this guy because he's not involved in any of the other modes. So he just kind of goes away. And then to get this guy into his uh, into his vehicle, into his tank beetle mode, we're just going to tear off those clips there. He's basically going to end up here, and you can see he's got this very cool turret for the horn. And then these are his wings on his back. And then we're going to rotate his arms up and forward and then rotate these forward like this. And these are going to become like the front treads, even though they don't have any treads going on at all. It's like the front of the tank. And then the only thing you have to do from here is just collapse his legs on this double joint and these will clip nicely into place. And there you go. That was a nice 10 second transformation. And look at that mode. Oh wait, where do these things go? Um, I guess they go back here in the helmet or the turret area. Yeah, and you want the gold bits facing up. There you go. So you just get all his horns there. Does he look like a beetle? No, he doesn't look like an insect at all, but he looks like a really awesome tank that other little insects can ride on top of. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if you can get like a carrier zoid kind of thing going here. Yeah, if we put King Oger. He can kind of stand up here. There's no clips or anything to hold his feet, unfortunately. That would have been a nice little touch. But yeah, King Oger can go ahead and just ride on this tank. Why not? So he can just ride him like a surfboard. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, so he can be kind of like a carrier zoid. Zord. There we go. So we can go ahead and have some insects just riding on top of them. You're not going to get very many to fit on here, unfortunately. There's not that much surface area for them to ride on. You can get like a few. But at least it's an option. That's not too bad. Um, this is what he looks like from the back, so not terrible. And then you get the tread effects down here. So yeah, pretty good castle tank. And then to turn him into his final mode. His castle mode, you're just going to sit him up and then let's, okay, again, I don't know what the point of those joints is. I'll have to remember to try to combine that with King Oger. You're just going to straighten out his legs. So you have like a nice stable base and then you just straighten out these arms and they're going to clip, the fists are going to clip right into that. And now you have a castle. That simple. Um, it kind of would have been nice if these would were not connected here, because then you can have like nice landing spaces for your insects. 
for them to hang out on the castle, but yeah, it's a pretty small castle. You're not going to have a lot of space, but you can get that effect. And if we go ahead and lower down, there you go. Pretty cool looking castle. I really like these, whatever these are called, crenellations um, for like the archers to like, just like attack off of. And then you can see he's kind of, he's going to work really well with the small insects, the middle sized ones. Don't have a lot of room, unfortunately. He does have these exposed clips. There you go. So B and Mantis can just like stand on him because they have those clips exposed. So that's kind of a cool thing you can do. But yeah, it's just like a little castle. Um, maybe it'd be cool to put all the insects behind it. You could pretend it's like a fortress wall or something and there's a courtyard. But I mean, for all the things this robot does, he has what, four modes? That's pretty good. Unfortunately, the combined mode is probably the worst of all four of his modes. Actually, what's the back of this castle look like? Yeah, it's not too bad. Like, it's clearly a robot doing a yoga pose, of course, but yeah, um, he does some good things. I, I do want to play with the combined mode a little bit more. He is really fun, actually, because he can do so much. And he does kind of like add a little bit to every, all the other robots, but I, I don't know, 120 bucks. And the combined modes don't really add anything. Yeah, I'm really curious about these, these legs. Does this, what? Okay, so you can, you can switch out the legs. Wow, okay, I don't, hmm. Why is this a possibility? Why can you do this? Oh man, I just feel like I'm missing something here. I don't understand. Wait, do the arms have the same? Wait a minute. Okay, well the arms have the same combiner joints too. Oh wait, I guess that's obvious because this becomes the leg, the foot. Okay, yeah, yeah. So all the combining joints are interchangeable. I don't know why these legs have combiner joints. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, fun set. Um, it's I, I really couldn't, I don't know if I can recommend it. The combined mode is just kind of fails. And I think the combined mode should have been what they worked on the most. It, it doesn't make sense that all these other modes are so good. And the combined mode is so mediocre. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'll play with it. And I'll decide if I'm going to keep it. But if not, you know it's going to end up in my eBay, in my eBay thread. All right. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Um, yeah, talk to me in the comments.